politicians control at Gatorade are watching you on the internet, the people at Powerade are rolling out, uh, are doing an analog strategy. They go to different places and pass out the Powerade, but they are going to start going on the web soon. And with that little discussion about the new internet marketing that Gatorade is doing, I'd like to welcome back our social media expert, Blanca, I love just saying this name, Blanca Stella Mejia. Welcome to the show, Smiley. Hi, Hi Jim. How are you? I am doing great. Oh, and by the way, I'm not a guru. <laughs> okay, you're a, you're, a, you're a knowledgeable person on the industry uh, stuff. Actually, one of the, the pioneers of social media is Brian Solis. Uh -huh. He's been in this, he's just one of the first for over 13 years. And a great, he just wrote a book called Engage. And he says, he's not a guru, he's not an expert. We are all in this learning. The, the world is changing so fast, so we are all uh, knowledgeable students. Oh, I feel like a Borg. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. There was a big furor here this week uh, in the Twitter universe. Uh, one of the uh, Hurricane players uh, had his uh, shut his. Uh... Well, why don't you tell me what happened? You know a lot more about it than I do. You go ahead. Well, the um, the coach for the University of Miami Hurricanes, uh, Randy Shannon asked all the team players that had active Twitter accounts to delete them. Not to stop tweeting, to actually delete them. And once you delete the account, it's all gone. Oh, there's no track record history or anything. No, no. And what was this that John Mayer did? What's that all about? Well, in the same week, John Mayer, he had 3.7 million followers. Now, who's he? You know, the singer. Oh, I'm celebrity. I'm an old man. What do I know? If it ain't Led Zeppelin, it ain't on my radio. Well, the one that went out with Jennifer Aniston and supposedly Jennifer Aniston well, stopped my wife dating is, him my, because he tweeted too much. My yeah. wife is following this story. I'm certainly uh, <laughs> today in the Wall Street. But anyway, go well, ahead. He 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 got a big following. Well, not just because he's a celebrity, but he's just very open on Twitter. And uh, anyways, um, there was a. a, a he just deleted the account. His last tweet was, where does this button go? And then it just was gone forever. Now, afterwards, there was a lot of tweets like saying, oh, you know, uh, he's, you know, the world continues. And w one of the tweets that I saw that was interesting is that why did not he, he if he didn't want to be on Twitter anymore, why did he not donate his Twitter account to a, non, uh, to a nonprofit? Oh, they could then access three and a half million people. Right, and yeah, exactly. You know, now I had a, uh, I gotta just bring this up. I had a social faux pas on Twitter. One of the, one of the more uh, uh, high profile people that you introduced me to, uh, we were working on getting together for lunch and he direct messaged me and I tweeted him back. I really apologize. I really apologize, mystery guy. I really do. But boy, did I just mess up that time. The entire world saw that this guy will now have a private lunch, and I'm sure he's been just ruined over that. I really apologize, but that's something that you got to learn. Now, I know just enough to be dangerous. We're going to get together. We're going to start building our fan page on Facebook. We're going to start helping me understand Twitter. But what I found really interesting is when I'm watching Monday Night Football, suddenly Kurt Warner's tweeting. Now, they're finding these guys' tweets on TweetDeck. Is that what they've got in the production truck? They're watching TweetDeck? Or they're watching, or on their phone. Really? Yeah. Or Uber Twitter, I guess. Yeah, there's many applications. There's Hootsuite and Seismic. Oh my God. <laughs> Who comes up with these names? Now, what are the, some of the things that celebrities are doing for causes with Twitter? Right, well, okay, one of the things that I really um, have, I, I am on Twitter a lot, obviously, as you know, and I have learned to, you know, just like stream through the garbage. You know, so I noticed certain things that I I believe that uh, are good for the world, and uh, one of the things there's this website called Twit Change, and celebrities are are going on that website and they're auctioning time with the celebrities, and this one happens to be for the cause of, of Haiti. Oh, how wonderful! Yeah, and Eva Longoria was one of the one that started it, and today I saw a tweet from Alyssa Milano which was retweeted by Eva Longoria, and they're really uh, putting the message out there. And I saw the link, and the link went directly to eBay, and it was, you know, to just bid for time with Alyssa Milano. And all that money will go to uh, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure George Costanza is the high bidder so far on that side. Uh, now, now, now.